Alright, uh, the pointer scan is now finished, and as you can see, we have found a lot of pointers. So this is the pointer count run here. It says uh, 1,014,736,451 pointers, which is absolutely crazy. Um, now, this is because it's Bioshock Infinite. As I said, it's a huge game. It's not really the best game to do this with. I have to admit that, but I just decided to go with it. Um, so what we're going to do now is, since we have a lot of these pointers, what you have to do as well is we're just going to minimize that for now. And we will basically close the game. So just close it right now. You will see that now all these values change to question marks. So just go to new scan, remove this, and you're good. Now I'm going to prove to you that this is just a dynamic address now. Okay, so what we do is we have to play Bioshock Infinite again. Play. Um, and now in a second. So you basically have to restart the game now and what we will do is you will find the new value okay just hold on a second we will find the new value for our ammo which is another dynamic address and then we will see which one of our pointers points to this address once more and then this will drastically remove or reduce the number of pointers we find Okay, just let it load. Let's move this over here. Alright. Okay, so now in a second we can attach it again once it's loaded up. I hope this will be soon. Uh, this is taking ages. Okay, this tutorial is going to be a long one. God damn it. Didn't want it to be. Good. Sorry, I shot. <laughs> okay, now we can see the money again. Now what we do is first we attach the game. Bioshock Infinite, yes. And yeah, we're just going to keep the current address of this because as you can see, we have the same address but a completely different value that has nothing to do with our old value of our money. So we can just delete this. This is pointless. Um, so what we do now is we scan for the new money. One, two, three, four, sixes, and then two. And then do the first scan again. And then, okay, we just have a few values here. Uh, we could uh, we could try to find it. Yeah, I don't really want to change the value again, so we just pick this one, for example, and then, I don't know, do lead again. Let's try this. That would be... Oh, my God. That was such a coincidence. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, I randomly selected the right value, which is nice. This normally doesn't happen, and you will probably, depending on your money, will have a lot more of these addresses. So you have to do the same thing again. Change the value, enter in the new value, and then next scan, okay? Good, but now since we have this address, what we do is you're going to copy this address, so just double click on this address, tab I guess, and then copy it, and then go to the pointer scan that's minimized in the bottom left hand corner. And then what you want to do is go to pointer scanner, rescan memory, then put in the new address, click OK, and then do 2.pointer. Now do save, and now it's going to rescan our memory once again, it's going to sort out all the addresses that have that do not point to this new address that is for our money. And yeah, this will basically show us which one of these aren't. But you basically what you have to do, you have to repeat this a couple of times. I would like repeat this five times and even restarting your computer helps with this as well. So basically that you have a lot less here. Now this is over one billion, which is just absolutely crazy. We can't work with that at all. So this will massively reduce after the second pointer scan but like after five pointer scans you will have really good number a good number would be something like i don't know 100 or something you will you will never end up with just one value and with normal games that works perfectly fine but we won't have only one value here or, or only 100 values so yeah i'm basically going to repeat this a couple of times and then um once this is good number i will return and i will show you what to do from there. Alright guys, what is going on? So, um, I actually did six pointer scans and I got it down to 4,902,511. Now I did not restart my computer, I would advise you to restart your computer to get this even more decreased. Um, now, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to test my luck, okay? Um, well, this is what you have to do in the end as well. Uh, it's, it's not really such a great method. But yeah, um, you could also like try to manually scan for the address. Now, 
what we gotta do is we just gotta randomly add pointers, okay? Let's let's lose the two top ones. Let's get this one, this one, this one, I don't know. Just use some random pointers you can see. Um I don't know, just click on some of them, double click them to add them, and let's add a few. Yeah, what about this one? I don't know, let's add this one and this one. Okay, so now we have a lot of pointers added. Mm, all these point at the moment to the right address, but of course that doesn't mean that these are correct. Um, most likely they are not, because we have... But the thing is, why would you do that? Well, the thing is that more than one pointer point to that player base address, okay? So don't think there's only just one value left. That's never going to happen, okay? So of course you want to get this number down tremendously, not to 4 million and 902,000, which is pretty much 5 million. You want to get it even more decreased and then you can start doing this. I'm just going to test my luck because the last time I did this, I couldn't really get it decreased either. So um, I'm just, just going to test my luck again. That's how I found the first base address, but yeah. Mm, let's try this. Okay, if not, then I'm just gonna get the address that I already found out. Would be easier. Um, okay, so let's minimize that. And let's now let's close the game. Now we've added all these to our addresses right here. Now I'm gonna close the game again. Now this is gonna be all question marks because we don't have a process attached. Let's do a new scan. Okay. Now what we wanna do is we wanna. Start Bioshock Infinite again. Just run the game. <clears throat> okay, and now just do the exact same thing you've did like six times or I don't know, ten times with Bioshock Infinite at least um, before. So you'll basically just start the game again and continue where you left off. And then we'll see if any of these pointers point to the right address. Now even if we have the pointer then, the thing is there's still a chance that this is actually not the correct pointer. Um, so basically, once if any of these pointers is correct and it doesn't have a question mark or some weird value, then um, what we do is we basically sort out all the ones that do have this question mark and that you know don't exist, um, and then we will try to start the game again and see if the pointers and there are still pointers that point to the right value. You do that about three times and then. If then there's still a pointer that points to the right value, then that's totally awesome. Okay, but now we're going to attach the process. Go to open. Oh, look at that. Yes, please keep it. All of these point to the right value, which is interesting. But this is just only one reboot. But all of these also point to the exact same address, which is, yeah, nice. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to restart it one more time and see if any of these pointers actually don't point to the right value and then sort them out. Usually this happens a lot, but apparently does not do that right now, which is nice. Okay, let's close it again and let's start it again. Yeah, as you can see, this is really annoying. Um, it takes a long time to get these pointer scans done, depending on the game, of course, but typically it takes a long time. That's a little unfortunate, but... Well, there's not really much we can do about it, so I guess that will be good. Um, Alright, let's press any key. Main game, yes, and then continue, please. Good, okay. <clears throat> so let's try it again. Hope this is going to work. That would be absolutely amazing, uh, if all of these still point to the right, right address. It would be a huge relief, actually. We don't have to do this over and over again. Um, but I think some of these pointers are not going to be correct. Um, you typically, I would advise you like to restart the game three times, then you can be for sure, or you can even restart your computer, because if you restart your computer, you can be very sure that these pointers are correct, that still point to the like, exact same value. So now let's attach the process again, and go to open, and as you can see, some of these now point to a different value. Keep the current address code list, yes please. Okay. As you can see, these are a lot of values that are incorrect, so let's just get rid of these. Okay, I would advise you to save this state. You can do that by clicking this save icon up here and then save it as a .ct file. And then, yeah. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take the top one. I don't know, we're just gonna take the top one. All right, now what you have is you have this base address. Now this is our base address for the money, okay?